three terms people consistently mix up. Cholelithiasis, cholecystitis, and cholecystectomy. Well, they all have to do with the gallbladder, but we have to break it down and it's a progression. And if you notice the way that I teach, everything I teach is gonna be in progression. So what is cholelithiasis? We'll break down each portion of that word. Remember, I always tell people this, medical terminology was never our first language. So whether English is your first language or not, learning medical terminology should be as of, of as much importance as it is to learn the content and the test taking strategies because breaking down words is gonna help you on test day. So cholelithiasis, well, we start with that. In the gallbladder, we form stones, cholelith, stone, isis, formation, so cholelithiasis. Well, as those stones form, the gallbladder is gonna contract, and as it contracts and it hits those stones, guess what happens? It's going to get inflamed, it's gonna get irritated. So now we have cholecyst, the sac, so the gallbladder sac, is now inflamed. Well, as that inflammatory process continues and as it contracts, and we know the six risk factors for developing those stones, fat, female, 40, fertile, fair skin, and family history. But as we contract onto those stones, it's gonna irritate that sac. So the gallbladder sac is now inflamed, cholecystitis. And once we have such severe pain that we can't get rid of, and it continuously is happening, we're going to go in and remove that gallbladder sac or cholecystectomy. So know the progression between the three. Know exactly what we're gonna do. Furthermore, I would advocate that you learn how to educate your patients post-op. Um, a lot of the different things that you want to educate them on as far as splinting, when they cough, how long before they can move their bandages, um, what we're looking for, like ASH, right? If we're putting them in a procedure or post-op, we want to always look at ASH and airway, altered mental status, sepsis, and hemorrhaging. So um, I hope this helped clarify those three terms. So I hope you enjoyed.